Dr. Shiva is a brilliant man with a very impressive resume, including being a part of the creation of email as we know it. But he got one thing incredibly wrong. Hello, and welcome to Sweet Home California. My name is Jennifer. I do not want us to do what the left does, and that is to blow things out of proportion or to mislead anyone into interpreting evidence incorrectly. Let me show you what the issue is. The last anomaly I want to show is where we saw something fascinating is where the verified and approved stamp, and you have to look at this carefully, it's occurring behind the envelope triangle. Let me explain. So if you look at this carefully, this is a, an image of an envelope. Here is a triangle which is pointing people to print here. Now you would think if, if it was stamped, this stamp should be over this image, but it is actually behind the triangle. All right, and you see it here again, close up here. These are all different ballots which were approved post November 4th predominantly, where the image of the verified and approved is behind this. Now, maybe this is done for a good reason. Maybe it's an imaging technology, but typically you could, you know, if, if you use Photoshop, you have layers, but I, I, I don't want to even accuse that, but I just want to say that it is interesting that the verified and approved is behind the envelope here, the envelope triangle. All right. Okay. Now, now to Dr. Shiva's credit, he did clearly state that the anomaly uh, that he was pointing out could have some very reasonable expl explanation that he didn't and that he did not want to cast aspersions or suggest that the images he had were photoshopped. But unfortunately, that is what a number of other YouTube conservative commentators are doing it. And it needs to stop lest we lose credibility on the number of very real anomalies that did come out in the report. So Dr. Shiva finally got access to the ballot envelope images only a few weeks ago. I wasn't able to find out the exact date, but considering the enormity of his task, it was like nearly 2 million envelopes that he had to go over. You know, a few weeks, give or take a few days, is not a lot of time. While I believe a lot of what he uncovered needs to be investigated by law enforcement, Stampgate will not be one of them. So, um... Uh, I had seen that a number of commenters on, on one of my videos has suggested that the issue could be one of technology, that the scanner uh, that they use to scan all those envelopes in has a feature that in order to save toner in the case that the scan is later printed, it will automatically remove the dark areas that the Arizona Triangle had that that stamp appears to be behind and that it is originally solid black. So when the scanner removes the dark area, it leaves an outline of the triangle but not the dark fill within it, or of course, then the stamp that went through it. So let me show you a few things here that I discovered. All right, so this is what the actual envelope looks like. The actual envelope is uh, green is what it looks like here. Um, I don't know if that's actually correct, but if it is, then that has its own problems. But you can see here that the triangle is a solid black. These triangles are solid red. And then look at this, the sign within the box. Those are, you know, extraordinarily bolded. So um, when you take a look at Dr. Shiva's images, you will see that the triangle is there, but the but the fill is is taken out. Same thing here with these triangles. You see an outline of it, but the fill is removed. Even even with the the box, the box was was a a thick a thick red, and the box left you with an outline of the box. So you have a, an interior line and exterior line, and the same thing with uh, the sign within the box that was also um, just an outline with the red fill was removed and you can see it a little more closely here. So here's an example of the stamp being put over top of it and it appears to go through it but in reality all of this was originally black so when the scanner took that out it also took out that stamp that was put over it. So um, and same thing here if I have any other examples. Yeah so all his examples there is that's exactly what happened there. Um, taking a look at the original ballot again. This is what the original ballot looks like. All right, so this is a nothing burger. Please don't use 
this particular thing, Stampgate, as a justification for doubting election integrity. In election integrity, there are plenty of other, more real reasons to do that. So, however, there may be another problem with Dr. Shiva's findings based on this same sort of technology with the scanners that really does need more investigation before we can even look at some of these other things that Dr. Shiva was discussing. For instance, if the scanner is not taking an accurate representation of the envelope in the case of that arrow and stamp deal, could it also not be accurately capturing lightly written signatures? Dr. Shiva reported on a very large number of blank and scribble envelopes. Um, so, you know, he found, I don't remember exact numbers, like 2,500. It was, it was like five times more than the county counted as, as rejecting. He, the county only rejected around 530 some odd signatures that didn't match. And Dr. Shiva wasn't looking at actual signature verification. He, he only looked at if there were blank signatures or scribble in the signatures. And he counted those as, as being that they should have been rejected. And he found well over 2,500. But the question is, as in the original envelope example that I found is green, could it be that some signatures didn't contrast enough to be captured by the scanner, but they were really there and they could have been observed if a person held it up and they saw it in person? So that is a, a huge red flag for me as well. He did find many other very valid things that I'm not sure, again, still we need to see. You know, it's not been cross-examined, so there may be other explanations for some of the other findings that he found, but the stamp gate is not an issue. And it may also be um, that the number of blank signatures and scribble signatures might also have a reasonable explanation as well that's related to the scanner technology that was used. So the report that was put out on Friday didn't have any cross-examination. So, you know, hopefully those questions can be answered with further investigations. I've been told some of the findings of the report were actually downplayed on Friday, perhaps to give the Democrats a feeling of security. I don't know. I mean, they certainly took it and ran with it, actually supposedly quoting Biden that he was thanking the Arizona GOP for letting him relive his his uh, glorious victory. But I don't I still think that they are getting ahead of themselves here. Um, but anyhow, at this point, do not lose faith. I don't think the Democrats' interpretation is correct. Yeah, there may be some things that we need to to modify in terms of um, examples of integrity issues. Um, but uh, so anyhow, be wary of touting evidence that's not withstood the cross-examination. I, I think that this report uh, that was put forth this past Friday definitely warrants further investigation. And I understand that it has been forwarded to the attorney general. So there could be criminal things coming out. So keep praying that the whole truth comes out and that any criminal action is thoroughly prosecuted. The report was just the first step. I am sure that there is going to be more to come. Lord willing, pray for the Arizona le leaders to have the backbone to see it all the way through. God bless, and I will talk to you next time. Please comment down below, share, and subscribe because that's the way that conservative voices get heard. Um, YouTube, you know, uh, responds based on the number of likes and the comments and everything. So I really appreciate if you would find me down, um, do that down below for me. And also just in case YouTube doesn't like this particular video, cause I am talking about election and integrity issues and everything. Please make sure that you find me on some of my other channels. I'm on locals and rumble. So, um, those links are in the description and, um, uh, follow me along there as well, just in case I am not long for YouTube. Anyhow, again, God bless and I will talk to you.